What's going on, Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hub. My name is Chris, and we're going to be checking out one of the newest Black Series, Moloch from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, this is a Target exclusive. I was able to find it in store, which I'm really excited about. It retails for $29.99, which it's a bigger, bulkier figure, so I totally understand. So with all of that being said, let's get right to this review. We'll start off with the box. So as you can see, the box is quite large. You have a really nice image of Moloch on the bottom right. There is no number on the side because it's an exclusive and like always you have that description on the back with the same image just enlarged followed by that Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. So the overall box is pretty sweet. Great image. Let's get right to the figure. So here he is, Moloch. Now, I absolutely love the design of this character. I really enjoyed Solo, A Star Wars Story. I saw it about four times now, and uh, it's just a really cool movie. This guy got some nice screen time, and I'm really happy that they made him into a Black Series figure because the amount of detail is really beautiful with this figure. Paint application, the weathering, just really digging it. Now one of my favorite features to this figure is the removable mask. So you can see his awesome face. Boom. Now this lower piece, you can't remove it, but obviously you can just push it down. It comes with this really cool looking staff and this little blaster. We'll get into that in just a bit. Uh, we're going to jump right into the articulation, which there's not a whole bunch with this guy, but um, I definitely want to show you guys. Now this headpiece right here, this does not move, but the head does have articulation to it. So up and down, side to side, and it does swivel side to side. So there is some nice movement with the head there. The arms go up and down to a 90 degree angle. Elbows do bend and swivel. There are wrist joints and the hands do swivel as well. I really like that his hands look like boxing gloves. It's pretty sweet. Now, as you can see, you can remove his coat here. It's made out of like a heavy saw vinyl material. Left and right, front and back with the waist movement. So good movement there. And this hose right here is a soft vinyl material so it moves with the figure. No restrictions. And that's going to do it for the articulation. Because this dude does not have legs, he has a worm body, which is very unique. And this figure has some nice weight to it. And this uh, bottom half is definitely made out of like a solid rubber material. And one thing's for sure, he stands very well on his own. It's basically like a base. And it goes all the way up to his waist. So you can feel it all the way up. It's very, very cool. Now I know it lacks the articulation, um, but honestly I think the amount of detail and paint app and just the overall presence of this guy makes up for it. Say what you will, I really dig this figure. So this is his staff, and as you can see there's some uh, pretty cool stuff going on here. and he holds it very nicely. And the gun is really sweet. Actually, let me put this in this hand. And we'll put the gun in this hand. Boom. 
I love that the trigger finger goes on the trigger. And as you can see, the overall gun design is really nice. The handle's patented brown. Nice detail with the gun. It fits really nicely in the holster. And I'll show you how easy it is for the mask to go on. So basically you just kind of push it in and slide it. So boom, and then you lift this piece up. Boom. And he looks amazing. Absolutely love that mask. Great fit. So boom, there he is, Moloch, in the house. Got a nice close-up on his face. Those nice blue eyes. And as you can see, the weathering is really cool. On this side piece, they dirtied it up a little bit. Paint lines look great. And it has some nice, nice like uh, wrinkles and a pattern design here. Just really cool. I love this. The headpiece is really sweet. All these little hoses. There's just a lot going on. Boom, so there he is, Moloch, in all his glory. So he's definitely at Target. Um, I was lucky enough to find him. So if you guys are interested, definitely run out to Target. And I think it's definitely worth the money. Alright guys, well thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think about Moloch. He is a great figure and I'm very happy that they made him. If you want to see more of me, go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. The support is amazing. And keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you guys. Like always, may the force be with you and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a bunch.